For example two, we're going to have to draw a picture of a, uh, a tree that's been blown a little bit because of wind, kind of like the last few days here. So, uh, and then we want to find the height of the tree. So we can't just measure it straight up because it's not growing straight up. So you can't use Sokotoa. So if we have a nice little tree that's been kind of uh, blown over a little bit. So draw them here. And here's your tree. And then you need to draw a triangle to find out. Well, we want to figure out what the height of it is, which would be here. And if we measured from a distance that is 30 meters away, then and this angle is 22.5 degrees, and then this is 30 meters down here. Well, if your if your uh, tree has been blown over by six degrees, that means from your vertical. That means this is a 6 degrees right here, and this is already 90. So your entire angle is going to end up being 96 degrees for that angle. Um, we also know, well, from knowing this information then, if we want to figure out what our height is over here on the left, we can set this up so we say that h over the sine of 22.5 degrees, that can be equal to, well, we need to know, if we're going to use our 30, then we have to know what the height of our top angle is. So we need to know what this angle is up here. We can find that angle. We'll call that angle, uh, we'll call it angle T for the tree. So if we want to find out what angle T is, then we just take 180 and subtract our 96 plus 22.5. And you find out that for angle T, you're going to end up and get a 61.5 degrees. So the reason that's helpful is because now we can plug this into using our law of sines. We can say 30 divided by the sine of 61.5 degrees. And then we solve for h. So h ends up equaling 30 times your sine of 22.5 all over the sine of 61.5. So we find out once we plug all these values into our calculator you get a height of 13.1 uh, meters actually is what we get so 13.1 meters that is the height of your tree even though it's been blown over just a little bit